Hi, I'm Ian Cull, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IAQA tech tip on surface sampling for mold. Is that discoloration on the wall mold? Sometimes the answer will be obvious, but other times you'll have a hard time making that determination. I know of one inspector that licks stains to determine if it's mold. In this video, I'll give you some more scientific and less weird methods for determining if a spot is mold. Our naked eye can't accurately determine if discoloration is mold. In fact, investigative reporters have used women's eye makeup to fool supposed mold experts. If we can't rely on our eyes, what can we do? A tape lift sample is a quick and easy method that can lead to an accurate determination. A piece of clear, not frosted tape, is gently placed on the questionable surface to collect a sample. The tape is then placed on a mounting surface such as a glass slide, labeled, packaged, and delivered to a laboratory. In the laboratory, your sample will be prepared and then viewed via a microscope by an analyst. The analyst will look for telltale signs that the questionable surface is in fact mold. They'll look for branched filaments associated with mold growth called hyphae. They'll also look for fungal spores called canidia. The lab will note the presence of growth structures and spores, identify taxonomical groupings, and make qualitative statements as to the amount present. If all goes well, the laboratory report will help you determine if that discoloration was in fact mold. Besides tape lifts, surface samples can also be collected using swabs. With swab samples, analysis in the lab can be by microscopy, culture, or even DNA-based methods. There are even methods for analyzing swabs out in the field using fluorescence, bioluminescence, and immunoassays. To learn about the advantages and disadvantages of these different methods of sampling, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Surface Sampling for Mold. Visit the IAQA website for more information.